Welcome to the Cardone Zone. Grant Cardone here every Friday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. No matter where I am, I come to you to talk about business, career, and finance. And I'm going to keep coming to you until I break through to you, your friends, your family, so that we can get your economics, your career right, your finances right, so that you can have the freedom that you want and you deserve. Today, I want to talk to you about the thing that saved my life. The thing that's got me in a position to come here to Malibu, where I am today, we've been here about, I don't know, 20 days now. I'm, I have a working vacation going on, and I'm going to share with you the single thing that has put me in a position that I'm in in my life today to own real estate, to have five companies, to, to, to have the, the, the freedom and the choices that I have in my life today is one word. One word, one thing. I talk about it in the Millionaire Booklet. Most important thing about finances. Okay, I talk about it when I'm working with a company. The only thing that I work on with a company is this one thing. The reason people know me around the world is because of this one thing. The reason I went from being broke, spiritually bankrupt, financially bankrupt, mentally bankrupt, physically bankrupt, this one thing literally saved my life. And it's the one thing that so many people say they don't want to do. What I'm talking about today is sales. Sales. The dirty word. The dirty, the nasty. Oh man, I don't want to sell anything. I don't want to sell anybody. I don't want to pressure anybody. I don't want to promote myself. I don't want to toot my own harm. Look, I'm talking to you today about marketing, sales, promotion, advertising, pitching, presenting. How many different ways do you want me to say this to you? Okay, the word sales means revenue. Okay, basically what happened was the accountant decided the sales word was dirty, so he made it more complicated and said, oh, let's call it revenue. Let's call it gross income. Look, the top line of your financial statement, whether you're a household or a business or a department or a monster a, a, a company or even a country, the top line of all financial statements is the senior line. Otherwise, why would it be on top? That line is sales. Call it whatever you want, okay? This week I've had, I don't know, John, we've had what? 15 or 20 coaching sessions. I had five yesterday. I had six the day before. Every person that has come here, okay, whether it was somebody in a chemical business that we met with, the lady that wrote the graphics for Wonder Woman, I've met with insurance people, real estate people, people making 600 grand a year, $2.6 million a year. I've, I've worked with people this week that are making a million and a half, a buck fifty. Every person, every person had the same question. How do I increase my revenue? How do I scale out? How do I find salespeople? How do I grow a team? How do I grow a network? I'm like, why do you want to grow a network? Why do you want to grow a team? Why do you want to find salespeople? Because I want to grow my revenue, my top line. Look, I'm not going to tell you to reduce your expenses, okay? I'm not, I'll leave that for Susie Orman. I'm not going to tell you not to use debt. I'll leave that for Mr. Dave Ramsey. By the way, I have massive, massive respect for both of them. I'm not going to tell you not to monetize. I'll leave that to Gary Vaynerchuk, okay? I'm not going to tell you to do a four-hour work week. I'll leave that to Tim Ferriss to figure out. I'm going to show you how to blow up your revenue, okay? And to do that, the first thing you have to do is you have to embrace this idea that sales is not a dirty word. It is the savior to your business. It is the savior to a department, to a division, to a concept, to an idea. Your ideas are worthless, worthless, completely worthless, worth zero. Perfect town to do that pitch in, by the way. Because this town, LA, is built on concepts that never get sold. The movies that get done, the movies that do the billion dollars in a weekend are the movies that get sold, not the movies that are best. The actors that are working are the ones that can sell tickets. The directors that get paid, the writers that get paid are the ones that are trusted to write something, to direct something, to produce something that sells something. 
My name's Grant Cardone. Every Friday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I bring you the Cardone Zone. I'm getting you in the zone right now. I'm getting you in the zone. I'm getting you into the truth zone. I'm getting you into where money exists, where possibilities are real, so you can get your game on, okay? I'm shooting this from Malibu today to bring you, every week, an adjustment to your thinking. How are you thinking? What are you thinking about? What are you working on? Why do so many people have problems with money? Okay, why? Because you have the wrong data. In this book, The Millionaire Booklet, I tell you that the first thing you need to do with money, my five-year-old, my eight-year-old both know this, the first thing to increase in money is increase in income, okay? If you want to increase your income, you have to embrace the sales game, okay? Look, you, you, there is a deck of cards, man. You got some bad cards. What you gonna do with those bad cards? I had bad cards. I got out of college. I couldn't get a job. Couldn't get the job I wanted. Then couldn't get any job. And I was stuck with a sales job. And I know how many of you regurgitate over this concept because you're like, man, I don't wanna do the sales thing. Look, you're literally saying no to the very thing that can save your finances. How do I promote? How do I market? How do I pitch? How do I sell? How do I find a, con a, 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 a contact? How do I make a uh, build rapport? How do I build value? How do I solve a problem? How do I build a margin? How do I sell a product for enough money that I actually make money when I sell it? Okay. How do I scale wide? So many of you out there are trying to sell stuff online. You're selling a pair of tennis shoes, but you're like, okay, I made 200 bucks on a pair of tennis shoes, but the problem is you can't do it enough times to matter. So many of you out there are working on real estate, okay? And you're like, I'm buying a real estate deal, but it's a duplex and it doesn't produce enough revenue to keep you in the game. Stay with me, I'm gonna come back and show you how to be a master at the sales game. My name's Grant Cardone and you're in the zone. Make six to seven figures overnight as an expert in your industry. Monetize your knowledge, monetize everything you work for, and make it work for you. Russell Whitney, expert in knowledge monetization, has worked with some of the largest brands, Robert Kiyosaki, Tony Robbins, Kevin Harrington, and George Foreman, in building out content that made them kings of their space. Scale your business to a nine-figure brand, sell from stage, create events, build the sales team, and get moving right now under greatest expansion in business yet. Visit Russell RussellWhitney.com. That's RussellWhitney.com to get started. Sammy and Lauren Rebstock are looking for individuals motivated to be a part of a team and have a great opportunity to expand by becoming part of a global movement and changing their financial condition. Make upwards of six figures and get a job, a career, and a lifestyle that will change your life and give you financial freedom. Sign up now at ExploreLifeVantage at gmail.com. That's ExploreLifeVantage at gmail.com. It takes motivation, trial and error, and a decision to be successful. Drive is required. It's time to get it right. Hey, welcome back to the Cardone Zone. Grant Cardone here every Friday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. No matter where I am in the world, whether I'm in, whether I'm in Montreal or Malibu, that's where I'm at today, I come to you to talk about how to get your business right, your career right, your finances right. Today I want to talk to you about something near and dear to my heart. The dirty word, the nasty, the word that saved my life, sales. Sales. I know a lot of you out there, man, I don't want to do the sales thing. Some of you out there in management positions. How do I hire good salespeople, Grant? How do I find a good team? Where are all the good salespeople at? I'm like, dude, look, look until you embrace the space, how can you hire somebody to fit in that space? Okay? Look, you got to get over this thing being below you. 
all right? I remember when I was 25 years old, 23 years old, I'm like, it's below me. Selling sales is below me. I don't want to beg. I don't want to plead. I don't want to ask. I don't want to, dude, I was broke. What, what's below you when you're broke, right? Nothing, right? Play the cards you have in your hand, all right? You got, you got five cards and you don't like them, you know? Most of you out there acting like a joker, okay? These are my cards. I got to play them. How do I play this hand of junk? How do I play a hand of junk? My mom used to say, stick and stay, it's bound to pay. Quit and you get nothing, okay? If anything's below you, you get nothing. Stick and stay, it's bound to pay. Embrace the sales game, okay? If you need to change what it is to you, change it. The only people making any money on this planet are salespeople. The single only way to change your income today. I had a lady in here yesterday. She's like, I'm making $2.6 million a year. I said, what do you need help with? She's like, I need help with sales. I had a guy in here the other day making 600 grand in commissions a year. I said, dude, what do you need help with? Sales. Okay, he comes in here, he's spending all his time on brochures. I'm like, that brochure is not even freaking useful today, bro. Bragging about his slick brochure, his brochure looks so good. Look, I had five people yesterday pay $10,000 to be here to spend 30, with, 30 minutes with me. The day before it was six people. The day before that it was four people. The day before that it was seven people. Every one of these people had the same problem. How do I get more revenue? My answer to you is this, embrace sales. Okay, embrace the concept of sales. What does that mean? Find a customer, put him in a pipeline, pitch him, find out what's wanted and needed. I'm giving you the steps, I'm laying it out for you right here. Find out what is wanted and needed, develop a product that solves that problem, develop ancillary products, not just one product. I was talking to Lewis House last week. Lewis is like, Grant, how many different products do you have? I said, we have about 80 different products. 80 different products at every price point. Most people are operating with one product. The lady that's doing graphics for the top studios in the world that just did Wonder Woman has too few products. So I sat down with her yesterday and I worked with her to create six different products, six different price points, and so she could go wide to an audience beyond Sony and Warner Brothers because she's dependent upon too few customers and has too few products inventory, right? So you gotta build that out. So what am I gonna pitch? What problem am I solving? How much margin is there? I'm telling you all the problems with the sales game. You guys are like, I don't wanna do sales. Sales is business. Don't you get it? Okay. Sales is business. How do I build on an inventory? Look at Apple's inventory, right? Look how big their inventory lineup is. So I can buy what from them? I can buy an iPod. I can buy iTunes from them. I can buy a phone from them. I can buy apps from them. I could be a, it could be a free. It could be a $1.99. It could be a game. It could be a phone at $900. It could be an iPad. It could be a computer. You don't have a product lineup. Why don't you have a product lineup? Because you're not committed to the sales game. Okay? The people that are in this house, that live in this house, they want 20 million for this house. You either wait for the market to pull the $20 million buyer, or you make the market and find a $20 million buyer. Or, how about this? Create a market and find a $22 million buyer. By the way, they're gonna say it's too much money at 20, they're gonna say it's too much money at 22, and they're gonna say it's too much money at 17. My name's Grant Cardone, you're in the Cardone Zone. I'm getting your head right, okay? You hearing what I'm saying right now? Are you picking up what I'm spitting? <laughs> Are you getting it? Listen to me, you have to learn the income game. It's not a savings game. It's not I got too much debt. It's not the economy's bad. It's not I have the wrong product. You have the wrong products because you don't have enough products. You don't have enough margin. You don't have enough scale. And I'm describing to you why so many people just get by, okay? You're great at graphics, you're great at photos, you're great at images, you're good on Instagram, but you don't make any money. You're motivated because you went to a Tony event. 
You're all motivated, but your checkbook didn't change, your savings didn't change, your income didn't change. So you have the wrong problem, right? When you find the right problem and solve that right problem, your income at the bank will change immediately. When I was 25 years old and I was broke, okay, and I embraced the sales game, the moment I embraced the sales game, as a sales game, right? I'm playing poker last night. I want your chips. I gotta sell you to stay in a bad hand, right? I have to sell you to get in a hand when you got cards and I have better cards. That's the game, man. Poker is not a game of cards. The poker players will tell you this. Play the cards you have. Make the most of them, man. Okay, it's a long game. It's a long game. I'm staying in for the punch, for the knockout blow, to wipe Johnny Boy out. Come see, Johnny. Tell him what happened to you last night, Johnny. Johnny the camera guy. What happened to you last night, Johnny? I got smoked, man. I got smoked. Johnny got cracked because I kept pulling him in. I kept selling Johnny, right? How do you do that with a client? Whether it's one of the big studios here, whether it's a TV show you're trying to get a show for. How do you pull a guy in? Number one, you got to be in front of the decision maker. I talk about this in Closed Survival Guide, and we're going to also be working on this in July at my boot camp. Imagine three days of this. Imagine me sitting down with you, me and my team sitting down with you, identifying what's the problem with your income, what's your product offer look like, what's your margins look like, who's your clientele, let's list out the clientele, let's build the pitch, let's build a follow-up campaign, whether it's online, on the phone, or in person, let's build a follow-up campaign, okay, and let's 10x your business. That's what I'm going to do in July at grantcardonebootcamp.com, grantcardonebootcamp.com. Love to have you there. I think we have seven or eight spaces left. I'm going to take care of your hotel. Right now, we're going to go to a short break, and I'm going to come back and answer your questions. You're in the Cardone Zone. Real estate investors and property managers, we're looking to make your business more efficient. Through solutions, efficiency, and business growth, those are our core values at BMT Solutions Group. We aim to increase your company production by 15 to 30% so that you, the business owner, can focus on what is important and scale your business. We will implement custom management, custom training systems so that any headaches along the way will be taken care of. You can learn more now at bmtsolutionsgroup.com. That's bmtsolutionsgroup.com. Take the guesswork out of your life. Have you ever felt like you had no idea what to do or what direction to go? Have you spent hours trying to figure out what your purpose is? Look no further. We at Partum have a solution that identifies who you are, what you're supposed to do, and how you can achieve it through easy and simple steps. There's no more guessing, no more feeling lost. You can now get back on track and get the wealth in your life you deserve. Whether you're a business owner, entrepreneur, millennial, we can help. Visit Partem.me, that's Partem.me, to get started right now. Sammy and Lauren Rebstock are looking for individuals motivated to be a part of a team and have a great opportunity to expand by becoming part of a global movement and changing their financial condition. Make upwards of six figures and get a job, a career, and a lifestyle that will change your life and give you financial freedom. Sign up now at explorelifevantage at gmail.com. That's explorelifevantage at gmail.com. Hey, Grant Cardone, welcome back to the Cardone Zone. Thank you so much for joining me every Friday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, brought to you by Grant Cardone TV. Why did I build my own studio? Why has Grant Cardone built a production studio? He's a sales dude. I had a guy ask me this. Uh, 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 basically, one of the studio, one of the most connected people in Hollywood said, why did you build your own studio? I said, man, you know the answer to that question. Why does a sales guy build a studio? Because I need an audience, okay? The first thing in selling is you need an audience. I need a player. The first thing in poker, I can't play by myself. I need you to have some chips. I got to convince you to get in a game, right, John? John didn't want to play yesterday. I got to get John to sit down. Everything in life is a, sales, a sale, folks. Everything in your life. All the moves you want to make in your life, whether you, you're a writer, a director, a producer, talent, whether you're the key grip, I got a key grip for you, whether you're a guy at FedEx or UPS, whether you're a policeman, a military person, 
You're going into the workspace today. You're an engineer, okay? You're a CEO. You're a secretary. You're in treasury, right? You're in shipping and handling. You're a wife, a husband, a teacher. If you want to fix your income, if you want more money, it's a sales job, okay? If I want to rent this place in Malibu for a month and I don't want to pay 200 grand a week, I want to pay 100 grand a week, I want to get four weeks for the price of two, I'm sorry, yeah, I want to get four weeks for the price of two weeks, what is that? If I want to save money on my vacation, I want to convince these people that I want to sit on the ocean and they charge 100 grand a week and I don't want to pay for all four weeks, but I want to stay for four weeks, I want to pay for two weeks and stay for four, how do I convince somebody to do that? How do I get a sponsor for my, my 10X Growth Conference? How do I sell 10,000 tickets to a, to a conference? How do I get Damon John to be a partner with me? How do I get Gregor McConnor to come work with me? Conor McGregor, sorry, sorry, with my dyslexia. <laughs> How do I get uh, Les, Les, Les Brown to, to speak with me on stage? Good question. How do you blow your brand up and get people to think more of you than you actually are? How do you sell a book? How do you get a book deal? You either just get lucky, right? you work hard, or the third thing is you learn to sell. How many, how many deals did George Clooney do, Elena, before he got hit? He got a hit. He's 12 pilots. He did 12 pilots before he got a hit. Elena reminded me of that yesterday, okay? I'm negotiating a deal right now with a studio about a TV show. They're trying to give me nothing for this show, okay? Elena's listening to me negotiate. She's like, you're gonna blow this deal? I said, baby, you've been with me 13 years. I don't blow deals, I close deals. I don't blow deals, I close deals. You know why? Because I know how to sell, I know how to market, I know how to promote, I know how to negotiate, I know how to close. By the way, a lot of you out there, listen to what I'm saying to you. You're over negotiating your position. You're over negotiating your position. You know what that means? You go in, you ask for too much up front and you scare the people out of the hand. Okay, so let me answer some of your questions. You're asking me right now, how do I get leads? Okay, get on social media. How do you get leads? First of all, you make a list of who would be a player for your product. You make a list of who would be a player for your product. Who needs my product or service? Okay, there was a lady here. She does graphics for websites. She does high-end graphics. She did, she did Wonder Woman, okay? She did Triple X. What other movies did she do? Some of the biggest movies that have ever been done. John's going blank on me right now. He's not helping me out here. Nobody helps me out, okay? They leave me out here by myself, okay? Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange. She does graphics for some of the top movies in the world, okay? And what? Opening credits. Opening credits, graphics for, for shows. So she says to me, how do I get clients? Let's make a list of people that would need your client. She left here. She left here with over a hundred new clients that she had never thought about. And she left with six new products in her lineup that she could pitch to people that she'd never done. By the way, she is not a loser. She made $2.6 million in gross revenue last year, okay? We had another gentleman here, an Indian friend, my new Indian friend, Rafid. Rafid and his wife came here. They have two businesses. They do $7 million a year. He left with a plan to do $70 million in the next 12 months. Actually, it's to make do $84 million, $7 million a month. We built out how he would go build a sales force that would earn not 100 grand a year, but million dollar earners. How he would grab them, how he would find top level professional salespeople in his space grab them, grab their business, and immediately go from seven million a year to seven million a month, okay? Now, how do we do that? Because they spent time with me. This is what I'm gonna be doing in July. In July, I'm gonna spend three days with about 100 business owners. I think we got seven or eight, nine spaces left. 
I'm not sure because they're selling them every second. It might be, it might be 12. I'm not sure what the number is right now, but I can tell you it's under 20. Space is left. I'm taking care of your room for three nights in July. Three nights at Turnberry Resort. Turnberry, right, guys? Turnberry Resort, three nights, five-star hotel. I'm taking care of your room. You get yourself to Miami, okay? You buy the fare. I think it's a $5,500 ticket on sale for $4,500 if you make a decision before the weekend. It's 4,500 bucks, three days, only 100 people, and we're gonna sit there. You're gonna bring your problems, your challenges, your obstacles. What is your issue? Is it inventory? Is it margin? Is it volumes? Is it scale? Is it salespeople? Is it phone calls? Is it you don't have the inventory necessary to sell to a client? Do you not know what your problem is? Do you have the wrong problem? Is it advertising, marketing, promotion? You, you're not known? Man, come spend three days with me, okay? You know I'm gonna go social on the deal. So everybody there, I'm gonna spend time with you. We're gonna get pictures together. You're gonna be able to use that with social media to get maybe awareness to your product. You should be promoting that you're coming to the boot camp before you get there. And we're gonna be sitting together masterminding, literally, literally uh, customizing solutions over three days, sending you home with pay, uh, homework, sending you home at night with homework so that we can come back on Saturday and figure out, hey dude, so what's the solution here? Okay, maybe we got a number of people in the room that have an inventory problem. Maybe we have some people that have a marketing and promotion problem. Everybody's got that problem, by the way. Maybe we don't know who our new clients are. Maybe we need to build out new inventory. We'll sit over 72 hours, over three days, and literally figure out how to map out the solutions to your problem, whether you're aware of them or not. It's grantcardonebootcamp.com, grantcardonebootcamp.com. I look forward to seeing you there, working with you. Look, sales should not be a dirty word. It is the way out. It is the way you can increase the income of your household, okay? You got a teenager. You got a kid going to college, right? Kid gets out of college. He's got debt, can't get a job. Why? Because he doesn't know how to sell. They don't teach that in school. I want to help you. I want to help solve your problem with the income game. Whether you want the right girl, the right guy, the right marriage. You want to keep your marriage excited and inspirational? Okay, you want more income for your department, your division, your company. Okay, you want more customers, you want more customers. You want more deals. Whether it's online, over the phone, it's about how do I communicate? How do I solve a problem? How do I get in front of somebody? How do I stay in front of that person long after they've either bought from me or not bought from me? How do I stay in the game and sell? How do I get my chips right? Okay, in the millionaire booklet, in the millionaire booklet, by the way, if you want one of these books, go to millionairebooklet.com, millionairebooklet.com. I say in chapter one, getting rich is not a fantasy any more than staying poor is. By the way, I was poor until I was about 35 years old. Poor, constantly worried about money every second of every day. That is, by the way, the definition of poor. Lack of, scarcity, worried about, okay? Where do you get your advice from about money, okay? Then I say, hey, in here, look, the number one step to money is to increase your income of the department, the division, the company, or the household. Increase the income. How do you do that? Sales. What is sales? Identify a client, a prospect, a potential. Are they the decision maker? Do they have the finances? Can you solve their problem? Can you get them to transfer money to you for a service you exchange with? Can you close a deal? Can you repeat that activity a second time, a third time, a fourth time? Can you continue to build out your pipeline of customers and go wide? Do you have enough margin in your products and services? Do you have enough inventory to sell a person a second time, a third time, a fourth time, a fifth product? If you want to know the secret, the secret, the ultimate secret to customer satisfaction, by the way, it is not customer satisfaction. It is not making people happy. 
there is a secret to customer satisfaction that I'm going to be sharing in the sales boot camp, grantcardonebootcamp.com, that I promise you will double your business. Double your business. Double your business, okay? So whether you're making seven million bucks a year, two point six million dollars a year, six hundred grand a year, or you're making sixty thousand a year, if you're sick and tired of that number, and you want to change your game, my message to you today on the Cardone Zone is embrace the sales game for what it is: marketing, promotion, going wide, margins, profit, inventory. I want to help you. If you have questions, post in comments. I'm happy to answer your questions. Okay, let me answer a couple here. What am I talking about? I'm talking about sales, the dirty word. Oh my God. I'm talking about the thing they don't teach you in college. There is no high school course on. I'm teaching the thing that saved my life. How do I sell, market, promote? That's all selling. How do I close? How do I negotiate? How do I not over negotiate? How do I make sure the customer saves face? How do I get a buyer into a follow up pipeline, right? How do I handle objections, stalls? This is a strong, strong message to you today about how do you stay in business. Businesses fail for one reason they can't sell enough products and margins high enough. That's why Americans are failing. They don't know how to sell. They don't know how to promote. They don't know how to market. They don't know how to close. They don't know how to negotiate. My message to you today on the Cardone Zone, I'm begging you, embrace the sales game, okay? It'll save your life. Thanks for watching today. I'll see you next Friday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Grant Cardone TV brings you five shows a week. Monday's The Real Estate Show, Tuesday's Power Players, Wednesday's The G&E Show, Thursday's Young Hustlers, and every Friday, The Cardone Zone. God bless. Be great. I'll see you next Friday.